This video is all about how to fix 100% CPU usage and low GPU usage with the best tested tweaks. Before applying these optimizations, my games were stuttering like crazy and the CPU was always maxed out. But after doing everything in this guide, the GPU finally started working properly and the FPS became way smoother. These fixes work on any PC, so make sure you watch till the end so you do not miss anything and if this helps you out please subscribe and drop a like on the video the first thing you should tackle is a hidden windows feature that often limits performance this feature is called power throttling and it can quietly restrict how much processing power your system is allowed to use while gaming to turn this feature off open the windows search bar and type group policy editor then launch it when it opens look to the left side and follow this path computer configuration then administrative templates then system then power management and finally power throttling settings inside this section find the option called turn off power throttling and double click on it Change the setting to enabled, then confirm your changes with apply and OK. Once this is done, your CPU is no longer held back by background power saving rules. This helps reduce unnecessary CPU strain, allows your GPU to receive more of the workload during games, improves stability and gives you a more balanced performance overall. You should notice smoother gameplay, fewer spikes and better hardware utilization after applying this fix. Alright guys, now we will adjust a few settings inside system configuration. Windows may start up without using all CPU cores and it also loads many background services that drain processing power which means your CPU is under pressure before you even start a game, leading to high usage and low GPU activity. To begin, open the Windows search bar and type System Configuration, then open it. Go to the Boot tab and select the Advanced Options button. You will see a section called Number of Processors. Enable the checkbox next to it, then open the drop-down menu and choose the highest number available. This forces Windows to use every core your processor has during startup, resulting in smoother boot performance and more consistent CPU behavior. Once you are in game, click OK to save the change, then return to the main window. Now switch to the Services tab. Check the box that says hide all Microsoft services so that only third-party services remain visible. This protects essential Windows processes from being disabled. After that, review the remaining items and turn off anything that is unnecessary. For example, update schedulers, extra launches, or background tools that you do not use. Leave anything related to your GPU, drivers, or system monitoring enabled. With these adjustments in place, your system will launch with fewer background tasks, your CPU will have a lighter workload, and your GPU will be able to take on more of the gaming load. This usually results in lower CPU usage, better balance between both components, and smoother performance overall. Alright guys, now we are going to apply the tested optimization pack. These tweaks are not random at all. They are proper system level adjustments made specifically to improve gaming performance. You can download the pack from the link in the description, so go ahead and grab it. After downloading, start with the folder called CPU Optimization. Once you open it, you will see several registry files and scripts. Install all of them one by one. Do not skip anything here, because each file plays a specific role in making your CPU more responsive, reducing background load, and lowering those unnecessary spikes to 100% while you are gaming. When that is done, open the CPU priority folder. 
you will see two options inside, Intel and AMD. Pick the one that matches your processor, then run the optimization file. What this does is it automatically adjusts your system, so your CPU gives gaming processors higher priority and pushes unnecessary background tasks out of the way. Next, go to the GPU Registry Tweaks folder. Start by running the file called Gaming Performance Registry. Click Yes when the prompt appears, then hit OK. This is the base tweak that improves how Windows communicates with your GPU. After that, you will see two more files, Low Medium Optimization and Medium High Optimization. If you have a budget or mid-range GPU, use the Low Medium file. If you have a stronger or high-end setup, use the Medium High one. For this guide, I am going with Low Medium Optimization. Run it. Confirm with Yes then press OK to finish. Now open the GPU thread tweaks folder. Inside, you will find files for AMD, Intel and Nvidia. Pick the one that matches your graphics card. For example, if you are using an Nvidia GPU, run the Nvidia thread optimization file. Double click it, say yes to both prompts, then hit OK. This tweak improves how your GPU handles multi-threaded workloads, reduces stuttering, and helps increase GPU usage while gaming. Now we are going to use the quick CPU tool. If you deal with unstable FPS, input delay, or your CPU climbing to 100% too quickly, this tool helps a lot. Start by launching quick CPU. And at the top, you will see a drop down for your system power plan. Select Ultimate Performance. This disables energy saving limits and allows your CPU to run at full capability all the time, giving you smoother gameplay and better FPS. Now scroll down to the core optimization sliders and do the following. Core parking, set this to 100% so all your CPU cores stay active performance. Set this to 100% so the CPU does not throttle down. Frequency scaling, also set this to 100% so your processor sticks to higher clock speeds even under heavy load turbo boost. Slide this to 100% as well so your CPU can push past its base clock speed when needed. After adjusting all the sliders, click Apply, then press OK to save the settings. Next, click on the Advanced CPU Settings button. In this section, enable the following options. Turbo Boost, turn this on so your CPU can temporarily overclock when extra power is needed. Enhanced Intel Speed Step technology. Enable this for smoother performance scaling without dragging the CPU speed down. Turbo Power Limits. Make sure all options here are turned on so your CPU can draw the power and thermal headroom it needs during heavy workloads. When everything is set, close Quick CPU. All the adjustments will apply automatically. Now let's move to fixing low GPU usage. In the same optimization pack, find a tool called MSI Mode Utility. Right click on it and select Run as Administrator. This is important because the tool modifies low level device behavior and needs full access. Once it opens, look for your GPU listed under Display Adapters. You need to apply two main tweaks. Enable MSI mode, this switches your GPU to a faster, message-based interrupt system which improves responsiveness and reduces micro-latency during gameplay set, interrupt priority to high. This makes sure your GPU tasks receive priority over non-essential background operations. After applying both settings, click Apply to save the changes. After completing these tweaks, your CPU will run more efficiently. Your GPU will finally get proper workload and you should see higher FPS, fewer dips and much smoother gaming performance overall.
And finally, if you're facing lag, ping spikes, or unstable connections in your online games, the Gear Up Booster is the perfect tool to fix those issues. Here is how to use it. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Alright guys, in the next step, we are going to disable Hyper-V and Virtual Machine Platform to free up more CPU resources for gaming. These features are built in virtualization tools. They just sit there wasting CPU power that could be used in your games. To turn them off, go to the search bar and type turn windows features on or off, then open it. A window will open showing a list of optional windows components. Scroll through the list until you find Hyper-V. Uncheck the box next to it to disable it. Now scroll a little further down and look for virtual machine platform. Uncheck that one too. After you are done, click OK to apply the changes. Windows might ask you to restart your PC. You can restart immediately or do it manually later, either works. Once these features are disabled, your CPU will stop reserving resources for virtualization tasks. That means more consistent processing power for your games, smoother performance and less background lag, especially in titles that are CPU heavy. Now guys, we will optimize NVIDIA control panel for maximum GPU performance. Even with a powerful NVIDIA GPU, your system might not be using it to its full potential due to default driver configurations. Here's how to unlock your GPU's full power through the NVIDIA control panel. Open your NVIDIA control panel. Once it opens, Head over to the Adjust Image Settings with Preview tab from the left sidebar. In this section, choose Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings, then click Apply. This ensures that all custom settings we apply next will actually take effect in your games. Now go to the Manage 3D Settings tab from the same sidebar. This section is where the real performance tuning happens. One by one, apply the following tweaks. Low latency mode, set this to ultra. It reduces input lag and gives a quicker response during fast paced gameplay, which is especially critical in competitive shooters. Power management mode, switch it to prefer maximum performance. This forces your GPU to stay at its highest clock speeds, avoiding unnecessary throttling during gaming sessions. OpenGL Rendering GPU From the drop-down, select your NVIDIA GPU. This ensures all OpenGL-based tasks use your dedicated graphics instead of defaulting to integrated ones. Vertical Sync Set this to off it removes FPS caps and input delay. If you notice screen tearing, you can come back and try adaptive as a middle ground. Once you've adjusted all the settings, click apply at the bottom right corner. That's it. You can now close the control panel. 
After doing this, your NVIDIA GPU will be set to prioritize gaming performance over everything else. You'll likely notice smoother frame rates, faster input response, and a more stable gaming experience overall, especially in demanding or fast action games. That's it for this guide. Your CPU and GPU should now be running at full power for smoother, faster gaming. If it helped, drop a like and subscribe for more performance tips. See you in the next one.